Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and I am exhausted. I went for a run today and you know I'm a little out of shape but I'm trying to get back into it so I'm gonna try to bring the energy today though because I don't want you guys to think that I'm not on the grind okay uh, so it is a what sold video if you guys are new to this channel all I do is pretty much go to garage sales estate sales thrift stores abandoned storage units bin stores that type of stuff and we find items to flip online for a profit for example buy something for 10 and we sell it for 50 and then you basically just multiply that over time and that's how you pay the bills <laughs> so it's pretty it's a very very pretty simple uh business model in a sense of all you're doing is buying and then just trying to flip it for more it's pretty easy uh, for the most part i will say the concept is easy but actually doing it consistently does have a grind mentality i will say that i'm pretty sure most resellers will agree with me on that uh reselling is easy in perspective but constantly doing it finding the items you know having the time to list ship record all that good stuff it, it does take a lot out of you i will say that um, but if i can do it you can do it okay so pretty easy uh simple items going out i mean the sales are really good overall um over on my first ebay account we have 23 items going out for one thousand two hundred and eighty two dollars and ninety seven cents then we have one item going out over on amazon for twenty four dollars and forty nine cents which puts us at a total of 24 items going out for one thousand three hundred and seven dollars and forty six cents so between monday and today which is tuesday we made over thirteen hundred dollars now keep in mind that is gross uh we're probably netting right around if i had to put a number on anywhere between eight to nine hundred dollars uh so it's definitely definitely still you know for for a, a net profit of of eight to nine hundred dollars we'll take that all day got a handful of things pulled behind me let's see what we got now i wouldn't say it's a handful of things i would say that it's a couple handful of things <laughs> so um but i will say that there are some very cool items here you know we got a snowboard uh amongst you know other things that are really really cool in general now first things first is going to be from the recent storage unit this thing right here is the Roadrunner 1973 Pepsi collector glass. Uh, we actually just listed this the other day. It sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, so if I, I honestly don't know where, I, I know I do know where I got this from. This is from an online auction. Got a whole bunch of golf clubs um, in an online auction. This right here is a Killer B driver. It's very cool, it has the Killer B little head cover. It sold for $40 plus shipping. All right, got a Pokemon card. This is EV and it is a hollow hollow rare and uh this is from a pokemon deal i did a long time ago this card right here sold for five dollars free shipping baseball glove rawlings pl 115 gs got this for three bucks or five bucks at a yard sale it sold for 15 bucks plus shipping this is from the recent storage unit it says the conductor's watch polar express that's pretty cool from the recent storage unit it sold for ten dollars plus shipping snowboard we end up getting this uh the snowboard the snowboard cover or the the bag that it comes in we also got boots gloves a whole bunch of stuff for ten dollars for this whole thing um we actually sold the cover for like 30 we sold the boots for like another 40 to 50 so this stuff is giving us good good money this snowboard is a uh sultan snowboard 150 just say it right there yep this whole thing sold for 75 bucks plus shipping this rigid rapid max twin battery charger this is from the private pick with mr tim this item right here sold for 35 dollars plus shipping another pokemon card here this one is a reverse hollow it is swampert and it sold for three dollars and 95 cents free shipping all right this sheila collectible right here this is the statue of liberty one and uh, we got less than a dollar into this it sold for 16 dollars plus shipping we actually found this cutco knife at a yard sale whenever i wasn't recording and i went on a yard sale adventure with my mom uh, this is just a Cutco knife. We got this for, I want to say, $20 um, at that garage sale. And it ended up selling for $60 plus shipping. I uh, picked this up last weekend or the weekend before. I think it was the weekend before. This is a Snap-on 9.6 volt battery. Very cool. It sold for $15 bucks plus shipping. All right, and then this Porter Cable staple gun, the one I picked up... Uh, this past weekend or the weekend before i think it's this past weekend i do not remember um but this right here this porter cable sold for 55 dollars plus shipping all right this panasonic uh the model on this is dmr ez 47 v uh we got this in an in-person auction a while back and uh you guys this thing actually sold for some good good money this is a dvd recorder it sold for 150 bucks plus shipping all right we got this king cobra 355 sz i believe this is also from the in-person or uh the online auction that we got uh, that golf club from 
This right here is a woman's flex 50 gram or 50 G graphite shaft. It sold for $35 plus shipping. Got a little die cast car here. This is from the die cast car storage unit. This is a Corgi red white uh, little Chevrolet Bel Air. It sold for $10 plus shipping. And then this sale came in at the last second. I did list this today. This is a vintage 2001 Washington Redskins hip flask. And uh, it is technically vintage, but it's very cool. It is a pewter, where does it say that? Yeah, right there, pewter emblem. So I thought that was pretty wild. It sold pretty quick for 15 bucks plus shipping. And then the item that's going out over on Amazon is gonna be this little food adventures guidebook. We've been selling a lot of these lately for some reasoning. Uh, but we picked up a whole bunch of these for seven bucks a piece and this is my last one it sold for 24 dollars and 49 cents free shipping over on amazon all right guys look who it is it's the wifey now i will say we did clear out this right here as you guys can tell from uh this past sunday that this was all packed but uh we did make a little bit of room here but we still got a ton of stuff over there and then look at this it's the puppies hi baby what y'all doing mm -hmm. we need to booty y'all want to go back inside let's go back inside let's go let's go Oh, they're so good. Inside. They're so good. Inside. What is this? Okay, we got a home light bar nut. Oh, so we're switching the rolls. We're switching the rolls here, huh? Yeah, we got J1. Yeah, Come on, babe, faster. I'm on a time crunch, man. I'm trying to go to bed. Well, I won't lie. This is the bin that takes forever. <laughs> to find something now he understands my pain no, no any other band is fine but this band is just not <laughs> i found it <laughs> i found it <laughs> all for a whopping eight dollars plus shipping okay now we gotta go to c2 you're looking for a dragon ball z gift set mug set and do you know where this is from no you don't know where this is from? No. Wow. This is from the recent storage unit. Because mm. I had to do it all by myself. I'm just kidding. She, was, she helped me. Because I'm working. She helped me. Uh, Dragon Ball Z mug sold for 25 bucks plus shipping. All right. Now we're going to go to G2. Oh, I love G2. <laughs> we're looking for a Swiss Army watch. Swiss Army watch. Marlboro? Yeah. Yes. Wait. Oh, yeah, this is right, because it is Marlboro brand. I forgot about that. Yep. Um, yeah, sold for $121 plus shipping, and this is from the recent storage unit. Yum. Let it go back. Another G2. Got a Yamaha FC4 Sustain pedal. Yeah, this one I'm making a ton of money on. I paid $10 on auction after all said and done, uh, but it sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, now we got the 1997 Masters Folding Chair. <laughs> Good luck getting out there, babe. <laughs> and how much did it sell for? $125 plus shipping. Woo! $125 plus shipping. You know why it's so good? From 1997, it's the first win from Tiger Woods on the PGA Tour. Okay, next we got C1. We're looking for a toner conference microphone. It sold for $30 free shipping. Yeah. It's crazy how I know this stuff, isn't it? I know, right? Okay, we're going to M4. M4? New Ray Diecast Shelby GT350. M4 or N4? N. N4. As in Nairobi. All right, here it is right here. Yep. I think it sold for ten dollars plus shipping. <laughs> Look at you! The right. That's right. Ten dollars plus shipping. Yeah. Got it. Two six two zero zero one. What did it sell for? <laughs> it sold. You're supposed to know this stuff. Not me. I'm gonna say it sold for seven ninety eight plus oh, shipping. I was, I, was gonna, I was gonna say eight dollars plus shipping, but yeah, it sold. Yeah. Okay, that's everything going out for tonight or i guess going out for tomorrow morning we'll see you guys thursday night with what sold so we'll see you guys in a sec bye hey what's going on check it out man it is thursday night and my narcolepsy is just terrible today i mean i got plenty or a decent amount of sleep last night and then i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know maybe just because i've been working out lately i haven't had any soda the past five days so i don't know i, I don't know what's going on but if i look a little scary i apologize now 
Uh, pretty easy, simple day. Uh, between yesterday and today, we have 17 items going out for $704.05, and that is it. Uh, so definitely some good sales. Got some pretty uh, interesting interesting sales. Uh, and a couple of them are going to surprise you a little bit. So yeah, this is the, the beauty about reselling, man. Like some of the things that just randomly sell and it just, you know, you get that little 10 15 $20 item, then all of a sudden the over $100 item comes in out of nowhere and you're like, it's a pretty good day. So, uh, but anyways, uh, but anyways, like I was saying though, my narcolepsy is, is, is just kind of bugging out right now. And again, I don't know why it's, it's one of those uh, medical issues that just kind of, you don't really have answers for it, but uh, but we're still uh, trucking along here, but it's 10 o'clock at night, and I got to pack up all these packages, and, and just like that, see what I'm saying? You get another another sale, and it just it's it just gets a little crazy. So we actually have a $20 sale. Let me go ahead and update the orders, and that brings us up to $738.87. Who's that? Hi, Max. Maximus, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, you good boy. He's ready to go. He's ready to go to bed. My wife just left for Oklahoma, um, literally like two hours ago, and uh, we went to go eat Mexican tonight because I wanted to send her off the right way. You know, she's just going home to Oklahoma just to visit some family. She's driving all the way there, so I got about three to five days by myself. So um, I got to pick up the slack around here. I got to go grocery shopping on Monday and all that good stuff. So. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, first things first is going to be this vintage Miami Dolphins Pro Line Sports uh, hat. I don't remember where we got this from. I want to say a garage sale, maybe a storage unit. I do not remember, but it sold for $45 plus shipping. All right, we got this hydro something, brightening something. I'm not too sure what it is. Got this for seven bucks at Black Friday. They was only making like two bucks off of it, but it did sell pretty quick. It sold for $16 free shipping. Big old box here. This is the extra hero scape stuff. If you guys remember that garage sale where I spent $120 on a whole lot of stuff. And this is one of those things that uh, I decided to put up for auction. Glad I did. Um, I could have individually pieced them out and probably had maybe like I honestly don't even know what to, to price this at, but it did sell for $77 free shipping. It's got a Nintendo Wii game here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Makes sense that it did sell because Christmas is right around the corner. It sold for $10 plus shipping. And just because I say Christmas is right around the corner, do not forget Thanksgiving. That's where everybody eats good. Next thing we got is this Garfield Ertl, E-R-T-L little uh, die cast ice cream truck. It sold for $10 plus shipping, and this is actually from the recent storage unit. Got another one of these Sheila Collectibles uh, Nativity Town Square. I guess that's what it's called. Got a whole bunch of these. Got less than a dollar a piece into them. This one right here sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, we got a Hook hoodie. I don't really know Huck or Hook. I think it's Hook. Um, this right here we got for 7 bucks at Black Friday Deals. It sold for $35 plus shipping. Look at this. I believe we got this at a yard sale for like a dollar or something. It is Pointer brand and it says Made in USA. Uh, men's Fit All. And very cool. This was uh, listed for about a week, maybe. I think I got it for like a dollar or so, and it sold for fifty dollars plus shipping. A little porter, uh, porter cable drill. If you guys remember all those, uh, all those tools I got at that garage sale. There's a bunch of them lined up on the sidewalk. I got there right before a uh, different reseller, so I'm pretty sure that the reseller would have picked them up. Um, but I asked him, how much would you do for all of it? And the lady walks over and was like, mm, 25. I was like, perfect. I'm not gonna even talk you down. If she would have said 20, that would have been better. But even 25 bucks, there's plenty of money to be made. But between all of those items, because the other ones are listed right there, I think you're looking at almost 150 bucks, if not over 150 bucks. I can't remember, because I do know the radio was going for like, whew, uh, I think I want to say like 70 to 80, and then the charger and stuff. So it's probably over 150 bucks for 25 dollars. You cannot beat that. But uh, this right here, even in the condition that it's in, I had it up there for 30. Somebody sent me an offer for like 20. I rebuttaled at 25 and then they countered at 23. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and take that. And this right here gives me a majority of my money back. All right. And then one item that I actually forgot to pull, this is the hundred uh, plus dollar one that came in. So yeah, so this is from the recent storage unit. This is the Northern Cardinal. This is a huge bolo. It took about two weeks to sell or so. 
but this is kind of like a huge bolo. So the reasoning why this one's so valuable is because this is the first series of the Hallmark Bird ornaments that they came out with. Did a little research on it, so that's how I know. Um, but this right here was from the recent storage unit. It sold for $135 for a little ornament, you guys. Like it's like it's not like a big ornament. I mean, it's about the size of my hand, but. $135 plus shipping. That is a pretty amazing sale right there. All right, so I went ahead and pulled D4 down, and this actually sold right here. The brand on this is Ofuna, and it actually sold pretty quick, so I must have priced it maybe a little bit low, but that's fine. This is from the recent storage unit. It is a Ofuna 3x10 binocular opera glasses. They're pretty cool. They're not worth like a whole lot. Anywhere between 10 to 15, I just decided to put it up there for 10, and it sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, guys, right here in F3, we are actually looking for a battery. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, I think this is it. I believe this is from the private pick with Mr. Tim, just a 12 volt battery. Um, it sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, also right here in D4, this is really cool. 1941 basic field manual soldier's handbook. This is from the recent storage unit as well. It's a World War II uh, basic field manual. Pretty cool. From the recent storage unit, it sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, right here in E1, we're actually looking for this Brita, or Brita, however you say it, filter. Didn't sell for a whole lot, but it is from the recent storage unit. It sold for $4 plus shipping. All right, you guys, remember all those bears I got from that estate sale? Um, this Mariner's Bear actually sold Ken Griffey Jr. And um, yeah, it sold for $8 plus shipping. All right, guys, so right here in F2, took me a sec to get to it. We have this Casio label maker thing, uh, KL-100. I'm not sure where we got this from. Maybe a yard sale? And I don't know how much we have into it. I know we don't have a lot. Maybe five bucks into it. Uh, it sold for $30 plus shipping. All right, you guys. So you guys remember from the first private pick with Mr. Tim. Now, we'll say it is a little hard to get by here right now because I am working on the garage. Finally got around to cleaning them probably about two weeks ago. Uh, I got two sets. I got this one and there's one over there. This set right here sold for $30 plus shipping. All right, and then the last item that came in, and whenever you guys heard that cha-ching, it's going to be this Grow. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And it says Made in Germany. Very cool. Got this for 7 bucks at Black Friday Deals. It is a Starlight Chrome metal shower hose. It sold for $20 plus shipping. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend at this point in time. I don't even know when this video airs so it might be during the week so i don't know why i said hopefully you guys are having a great weekend i'm having a okay weekend uh two reasonings why is one sales are down just a little bit over the weekend even though i have been listing and then two my wife is not here she's in oklahoma right now so uh but she will be back tomorrow uh late late at night after a 15 hour drive so um uh, so yeah i'm a little bored so i've been getting a lot of things done around the house i put the trash cans down at the driveway i've been cleaning up uh, having to feed myself and and all that good stuff you know i'm picking up a slack a little bit i mean granted i'm being an adult but uh you know it is what it is uh, i've been i've been running around crazy we went down to the 10 by 30 storage unit clearing out some trash pulled some other stuff that we gotta uh, put online and all that other stuff and uh yeah life is good and we are working hard and that is the best thing about uh life you know when you work hard you get good results when you get good results you feel good about yourself that means you're doing stuff right um so uh, enough about uh that and me rambling of course uh so here is the breakdown of the numbers we didn't have that many sales so we have 12 items going out for 622 dollars and 18 cents over on my ebay account then we have one item going out over on poshmark for 35 dollars which means we have 13 items going out for 657 dollars and 18 cents and uh that is it only 13 items so uh you know for 13 items at 622 dollars it's not bad by no means you know i can't complain about the sales it's just i'm just used to shooting for that thousand dollar weekend but it's not going to happen all the time but it does not mean that we're going to stop the grind so uh with that being said i got a handful of things behind me let's see what we got all right guys so this is the handful of things that we have pulled so first and foremost we have this uh, snap-on battery charger i went to one garage sale matter of fact i actually know the guy um and uh, he had a uh, huge yard sale and he had a bunch of tools and stuff and he had this snap-on drills way older model the drill itself wasn't worth really anything like 10 bucks maybe but the battery and the battery charger were worth a little bit of money he had 15 bucks on it so i, I bought it for 15 bucks and sure enough this battery charger actually sold for 30 dollars plus shipping so just keep that in mind whenever you guys are out there at yard sales and let's say they got some tools up for sale open it up just to see what they have if it's just obviously the uh the the drill itself or the actual tool itself 
look up the model number model number might be worth it so for instance let's say if it has a the tool the charger and the battery okay tool goes for like 10 bucks the dude's asking asking for everything for 20. look up the charger look up the battery and sure enough there that right there might be 50 dollars alone so uh this battery charger right here sold for 30 dollars plus shipping all right two boxes of f-11y uh spark plugs uh we got a huge lot at my little secret honey hole uh, a whole bunch of them for 45 dollars and uh, this right here gets me almost all my money back so uh these two lots right here sold for 30 dollars plus shipping super mario duck hunt doesn't sell for a whole lot but it did sell for five dollars plus shipping one sale oh goodness i almost dropped my phone um <laughs> but one sale right there if you guys could see that it says two or i'm sorry it says 150 uh so this right here is a ray marine pathfinder c70 uh ray dome i guess i honestly don't really know what it is uh, i'll make sure to pop up the sold comp here on the screen this is an item that i got from the second private pick with mr tim and uh, it sold for 150 dollars is actually in my storage unit and i'm gonna go down there uh, as soon as this video is over and i'm going to go pick it up all right these two items are here sold to the same buyer we have a nintendo 64 expansion pack then a nintendo 64 controller pack um both of these sold to the same buyer for 63 dollars plus shipping eagles record i believe i just got that two weeks ago and uh we just got around to listing it and um this one right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping and i got it for five so we're not making a whole bunch of money it's just kind of like taking a gamble but we're not losing money but yeah yeah a little five dollar profit harley davidson boots now this is a great profit um one yard sale we end up going to we got two pairs of harley davidson boots tons of shoes a uh, couple of um uh, Harley Davidson boots and a couple other things with my mom and I uh, got these boots for ten dollars very clean very very clean and uh, these are here sold for sixty dollars plus shipping Spongebob Squarepants Legend of the Lost Spatula for the Game Boy Color this right here is from the private pick with Mr. Tim it sold for five dollars plus shipping all right this right here another thing that I was telling you guys about parting out certain items if you guys remember the yard sale where the lady had a whole bunch of stuff uh lined up that were porter cable if you guys remember you got the little boom box and then you got the grinder or maybe i'm sorry not a grinder but a saw and then the reciprocating saw whatever it is and then you had the drill itself that we sold a few days ago and then this this is all about parting it out um this right here is a porter cable 20 volt battery charger with two batteries it sold for $45 plus shipping. And if you guys remember, we sold the drill for $22 or $23, which didn't get my money back because I spent $25 on everything. This right here officially gets my money back, and then we still have those other three or four pieces that need to be sold. And then this Highway Hawks leather jacket, I'm not even sure where we found this from. Maybe a storage unit. I, I, we've had it for a while, so I'm not too sure. But it did sell over on Poshmark for $35 plus shipping. All right, guys, down in the garage, I went ahead and pulled this. We actually had two sets of these that we got from Mr. Tim's private pick. Uh, the other one sold for $30, and sure enough, this one right here sold for $30 plus shipping. And this is a New Wave Pro, New Wave Pro dome lid and ring extender. All right, guys, right here in F6, you guys remember all those little, those little houses that we want on auction. We're actually looking for number six, this right here. This is a KLM Delft house, and this one right here sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, guys, so we just pulled this from D4, and this is a Kurt S. Adler NFL Washington Red Redskins helmet Christmas ornament. Pretty cool. This is from the recent storage unit. It sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, guys, and that is it. That is everything going out over the weekend. Like I said, not that much uh, going out, but it is what it is. I will say that we have a lot of work to do and we do have some pretty awesome stuff coming out for you guys. Uh, I won't find out until the 17th of November and uh, if it does go out, go the way I want it to, you guys will be the first to know. Um, but we have a lot of things planned, a lot of things going on in our lives and you know, it's, you know there's tons of stuff man. Like it's, it's a, it's a non-stop grind and I love every single minute of it, every single second of it, every every single millisecond. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and sometimes get hard sometimes, you know, it gets a little stressful sometimes because the sales go, you know, a little slow, whatever. Um, but I will say though, in the end, it is worth it. And thanks to you guys for, you know, staying with me and keeping me motivated. It does go a long way with me. Like I told you guys before, time is very valuable. And when you guys come, you know, come and show up to these videos, that just shows me that, 
you guys value me as a person with using you guys as a, for, you know, for your time. So, uh, it is genuinely amazing. So, uh, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> you guys know how I do. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. You guys much love. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support over here on the channel. And as always, it's your boy, the Georgia picker. We'll catch you guys next video. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.